All right, so in the last section, we talked about what a database itself is. In this section, I want to focus on MySQL, which is a DBMS, or a database management system. So what is MySQL? There's a lot of different definitions. Um, a couple particular definitions that I like is it's a popular open source relational database, and it's powerful, reliable, and scalable. MySQL can also be integrated into web applications written in multiple languages. Um, I would say the most popular being PHP, but you can also integrate um, uh, Ruby on Rails with Ruby or um, Perl. There's, there's just a whole bunch of different languages you can use with MySQL. Uh, some facts. Uh, it was created in 1995 by My Michael Wideness. Uh, it's open source and the commercial version is free. We'll talk about some of the other editions that are available, but the commercial version runs on a general public license. It is owned by the Oracle Corporation, which is a huge tech company. Uh, it's used with the extremely popular LAMP stack, which is uh, basically it's a software package that's used for web applications, which includes Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP and there's just a ton of sites that that you probably go to every day that run on this LAMP stack. So here are some of the features of MySQL alright so first we have foreign key support MySQL has a few different storage engines and if we use the inodb storage engine uh, what foreign key support means is that we can have tables that relate to each other and we can make it so that let's say we have a users table and I don't know a blog post table uh, if we delete a user uh, then all of his blog posts in the blog post table could also be deleted and that's basically called cascading um, we can enable that or we can make it so that we could keep the blog post even if the user is deleted alright so another feature is trigger a trigger is a named database object that's associated with a table and it activates when a particular event occurs for the table um, some, use, some uses for triggers are to perform checks of values to be inserted into a table or to perform perform other types of calculations on values involved in an update. But we'll learn more about this stuff later. Uh, stored procedures, I'm not going to go over all of these. Full text indexing and searching. Um, full text indexing allows us basically to um, run full text queries against character based data in SQL server tables. So we could have search, search and filter functionality in our web applications um, before we can run a full text query on a table um, we have to create a full text index on the table and we will be doing that in the in an upcoming section query caching uh, replication MySQL has, has really good security features uh, seamless integration with PHP and other web languages MySQL is available for uh, on 12 different platforms as far as I know uh, then there might be more but I'm not sure uh, obviously we have the most popular Windows Linux and Mac uh, but we can also run MySQL on Novell Netware FreeBSD, OpenBSD, Solaris um, and then these other ones that I've I haven't dealt with uh, HP UX, IBM, AIX QNX, SGI, IRX, <laughs> DEC, OSF. All right, so that's a lot of different letters. Um, but just just so you know that it's very um, my MySQL is supported across a whole bunch of different platforms. All right, so there's a lot of popular, um, usually open source applications that use MySQL. Some of the most popular being Joomla, WordPress, and Drupal which are all uh, content management systems that run on PHP, MySQL, and Apache. Um, Typo3, PHP, 
PBB, which is a, a popular forum script, and Mod X. And there's just a, a ton more that use MySQL. All right, so there's a few different editions or versions of MySQL, not versions, editions, I guess is a better word. Um, we have the community edition, which is what we'll be using, which is what is widely used, and that's free, open source and free. Uh, then we get into the commercial editions, which are extremely expensive, as you can see. Uh, the standard edition is 2,000 USD, uh, the enterprise is 5,000, and then the cluster carrier grade edition is 10,000. All right, so um, these are for huge, huge, huge website applications and networks. Um, I'm not really going to go into the specifics for these, but the price um, is determined by the software and support that's given, uh, things like that. And for a full list of features, you can go to this link here, mysql.com slash products, and you can check out the different editions. Okay, so MySQL uses a client server model, and there are three general program categories. All right, so first we have the server, and that is the MySQL D program, which is basically the only program that actually touches the database. Um, that's the server. So then we have clients, and a client is a program that you can use to communicate and interact with the server and there are a ton of different clients you can use um, the MySQL client which is a command line program you can use to do whatever create tables um, add data or whatever there's also GUI uh, interfaces that you can use such as uh, MySQL Workbench um, PHP MyAdmin is a web based client and then you have utilities and these are usually special purpose programs uh, an example of this is the MySQL D safe program which basically starts up the monitors and monitors the server and here is a quick diagram that I created just to kinda give you an idea of, of how the client and servers are set up so here we have the main MySQL server uh, which is called MySQL D and this can have multiple table um, I'm sorry multiple databases we can we can create on this server and in the databases obviously we have our data which is put in tables inside the tables we have rows and columns um, and then over here we have our GUI client or our MySQL shell well so the command line so basically whatever we use to um, to, to run queries or to interact with the server. And then up here we have our HTTP server which has our PHP scripts, uh, not exclusively PHP, but um, different scripts such as Joomla, WordPress, uh, and that directly connects to our MySQL server. All right, so that's a very, very simple uh, diagram. All right, so that's it for this section. In the next section, I want to get into uh, more into the database terminology and um, structure. I want to um, talk about relational databases and give you an example of uh, how tables can relate to each other.